Hi, I'm Dr. Ranjit Ravella, Internal Medicine Consultant Physician, Kim's Hospital, Kamam. Today, we are going to discuss a new product which is very much useful for the medical students. This is called as the ECG ruler. This is very much useful for the medical students who are practicing day to day and seeing ECGs on a regular basis. This is very helpful to make an accurate diagnosis regarding the ECGs, at least to get a basic idea of what is going on in ECG. So let's discuss the ECG ruler on an ECG. So first thing is to match R wave with the start complex. So first you match it with the R wave and see where the second R wave is coming. It is something close to 50. So by this we can understand the heart rate is between 50 to 55. So it's around 53. Second point is to step two is to assess whether it is regular or not. So again you match it, you see that it's in the same place or not. So almost the rhythm is regular. So coming to the third step, third step we need to see only that whether the PR interval is normal or not. It is 0 0.12 to 0 0.20 second. Coming to the fourth step is your axis. Axis for the axis you need to check lead 1, 2, 3 whether the wave is positive, QRS complex is positive or not. So this is normal. Fifth step it is QRS interval. Normal is 0 0.08 to 0 0.12 second. Coming to the QTC interval, again we have mentioned the formula of Hodges, right? You can calculate according to that. Seventh one, it is T wave inversion causes. Center part of the scale, you match it with the isoelectric line and see the elevation. How much is the elevation? Whether the elevation is significant or not. You see that most important part, this colorful part, that is showing whether the involvement of 2-3 AV of in inferior wall is involved or which wall is involved. So this is all about the ECG ruler. Mm -hmm.